disenchanted. And they are doing their usual. Mr. Speaker, this is the best budget that we have ever seen. Mr. Speaker, the budget is empty. That's nothing. Fine, do your politics. But you know, people queue up to vote for you to go to parliament. They face you to work hard. Mm. Sometimes they are reading people on their phones. You know, finance ministers are reading a budget. People are on their phone. They are talking. They say, hey, keep quiet. It's like backbenchers are giving funds. It's like, hey, your country has all these problems and you are in parliament to represent 275 constituents, one of them. You are the only person from there who can hear their voice. And you are there, you're on your phone. Sometimes they are picking the call. And I said, this doesn't look like people who are interested in our welfare. And I think, because this small history I've given you, 2004, then we went to do it. And I went to cover that program where we, they, we even held the debate, right? MPP, NDC struggling for who to you know, do, do, do. The NDC then brings in Nita Kikome to contest against the younger Mankata. So MPP was hoping that the sympathy votes for the Chofache will come for his son. Mm -hmm. And then this brought Taki Kome, who was a, a royal. Because MPP was really keen on One resting thing, the yeah. seat back from the uh, Mankata senior. I remember I went to do a parliamentary debate in, they call it Saha Market. Come and see the market women. Talking about development. Very engaged, very interesting. You know, this is 2004, 20 years ago. Right? 2005, 19, whatever years. And then, of course, eventually, uh, Takikome wins the seat. And then later on, Ilanti Vanderpoy comes. And now the seat becomes more oh, MPP. Yeah. More NDC. And NDC. Yes. All right? Because of all the things that's going on. Then the other question is about the increase in parliamentary seats. Yes. You're a country of 30 million people. Your GDP is not up to $100 billion. <laughs> right? I think it's $72 billion. You've, when we started this democracy, we had, at least when they wanted to do voting in, uh, and Sky can correct me on this, in 1992, we had, I think, 140 Four, districts yeah. or constituencies. Because the election that had been held prior to that one was, I think, the election of 79. Mm -hmm. So there were 140 yeah, districts. Buzia Victor Usu won. Then? Liman Victor Usu, sorry. Then the, the NDC, Rawlings and Co. decided that we are going to have the democracy. Then somebody has a smart idea to increase the constituencies from 140 to 200. Yeah, I remember How, we started with and this is, they did this in less than two years. You, you create 60 constituencies in less than two years. That means, some can argue that creating a constituency means they are going to increase the governance at the local level or whatever. But it's a cost. All right? Now you have 200 people. And the worst part of the MPP being boycotted the parliamentary. So you have, you have 200 people, essentially rubber stamping a government decision. 200 uh, ex, per diem to pay, what do you call it, ex-gratia to pay. Parliament is very expensive. And therefore, we didn't equip them. I would have preferred 140 people in parliament. They all have an office. They all have research assistants. Mm -hmm. they are, they, so a 140 MPs, well-paid and well-prepared, is better than 275 MPs, <coughs> With no organization, no capacity to research, no understanding of issues, and just doing yeah, yeah, and arguing about politics. Okay, so this democracy we've created. Then Kufo too comes and says, okay, since NDC people did 200, he's also going to add 30. So by he's in his 80s, it makes it 230. Then NDC comes and says, oh, wait, we are going to add how much? How much you add to 230? 45. Mm -hmm. So they've also added 45. So between the time I was in a university to today, parliament has moved from 140 to 275. And the question is, are we getting value from this parliament? So when the finance minister comes to read a budget, it's like business as usual. He's coming to read a budget, you know, and they, they bring the bag, all the slogan. The question is, go to paragraph 51 of the budget. He says, Mr. Speaker, the structure of our economy has not changed. We've been reading budget since Kwesi Botwe. The structure is the same. So I don't have a lot of confidence in any budget. It's not even this budget. It's like the budget itself, we have not used the budget process to trigger development. We've made it a nice charade. So six of one half a dozen of the other. They, they reduce this allocation here. They change this allocation there. Meanwhile, in some societies, the budget process is inclusive. It's, it's based on a lot of thinking and planning. There's an independent budget office that reviews the previous year's budget independently. Go and look at the debate on the budget. I don't go get up and tell you that everything is wrong. We could go out and get up and tell you everything was right. So you really don't know what to even believe. So the, the, the debate even for the budget is just partisan, all right? Fine, there are partisan budget debates everywhere, but we have a development challenge. So we should build institutions that solve our problems. We can't say because Americans are partisan, we should also be partisan. Mm. 
You need an independent budget office to say, look, we will scrutinize the expenditures of the government and make sure that whatever we spend the money on is value for money. All MP people agree with the minister, or any police agree with the minister, and then we say we want to develop. So we'll make a lot of shout for the next one week or two weeks. Mr. Speaker will open debate. You can see what they do there. Ricky Tika will get up and say, oh, budget. De, 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 de. Then uh, Apenyo Maki will get up. De, 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 de. They'll do uh, for two weeks and then they'll go back to business as usual. And my question is, what are we doing? Look, in some countries, look, the difference between countries that do and countries that don't do well, one of the differences is that they have a strategy. Strategy. And that strategy mm. for development is based on a plan that they've put in place, which is supported by the budget process. And the budget is built to, to open up strategic spaces based on a clearly defined priority. Mm. So here, look, and I, I really think, and I'm not trying to pick on this finance minister, but we need to even change the language of the budget. So it's like, oh, the IMF has come, we are doing our PC peg, and da 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 da. Oh, those things. You know, it's fine. It's that's what you need to say. But my point is, what is really transformational? It, it has to be highlighted. And sometimes we need to let the partisanship go away when it comes to trying to use the budget process to open up certain sectors. But look at the debate. Oh, all oh, the businesses, we want less taxes. The whole thing is just, you know, I I don't I don't see. Fine, democracy requires us to have a discussion about budget. Mm -hmm. But budgeting also presents an opportunity to sow the seeds for transformation in a national way. Mm. This parliament, in my view, is, is not interested in that. Parliament is more like an appendage of the political party's aspirations. So MPP wants to push an agenda, they whip the MPs into line. <coughs> NDC wants to push an agenda, they whip the MPs into line. They have not empowered their MPs beyond those who are and, uh, and finding their own causes to follow. Then, then there's another question. Again, this is a controversial point, but let me make it. And Sky can correct me if I'm wrong because you're not parliamentary than me. We have a parliament where I think the quality of debate, the quality of legislative, uh, intellectual legislative power is all reduced. Why? Because the political parties have not built in structures to protect quality. All right? And let me, it's a controversial point. I'm not saying that some people should not be contested. But you see, I've come to believe that you solve your problem. Mm. If, if your problem is development, you put in place things that give you development. Now, nobody defines our democracy for us to say that we there every four years, everybody must be contested by everyone. That doesn't make sense. Because if parliament, imagine if the city breakfast show host is changed every three years. Right? Where would the, 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 the intellectual base are built for 19 years? Where will, where will you come from? You think Sky got up here because every three years he had to make a decision as to what to do? He has built a certain knowledge base from 2005. Statesman, presidency, parliament for years, law, you know, GIMPA, economics, right? International <coughs> travel, work with committees, then UK, <laughs> Buckingham, City University, London, call to the bar, pupillage. That's what it is. It's not just... You see, so now come to Parliament. These are the people who are making laws for you. In some of the countries you admire, there are two chambers. Lord, uh, House of Lords, House no, of Commons. Commons. I went to the UK and I met a man who's been on the House of Lords for like 30 years. A walking encyclopedia. Some have been in the Commons for years. Okay, we say we want to do democracy. So democracy means every year people must vote. Okay, the people who want to even come to parliament, what are they coming to do? So you have somebody who starts a career in parliament. He's showing promise. Speaker sees that, no, this MP, his interest in legislative drafting and his training means he's an asset to the country. MPP and NDC don't have any system of saying that Mr. Kofi Mensah, MP for Bumpurubu Yunyo, because of his training and because of the contributions he's making, let's have, okay, let's even have a system of measuring his performance as a party. Okay, so they can have an objective meeting and say, okay, when we did an objective meeting of the 137 NDC MPs, 16 of them, based on their committee work and everything else, we will keep them and not be contested. So that we can allow, do you understand? So we, are, we, are, we have a certain ranking system. Mm -hmm. So we are saying that for the, for the institution of parliament not to lose out, so that when we want a minority leader who can stand to question and do debate, this guy's training and investment the party has made in him, this guy should be protected. We say no, democracy. So somebody can do galam say, 
get two million CDs and come mm -hmm. and contest somebody who has been doing legislative drafting for, for four years in the name of democracy. And he'll use Galamse money to remove him. And we said that's democracy. Whose question are we answering? What are we doing? Just like, why are we trying to be more uh, holy than the Pope or more Catholic than the Pope? Go to US and look at some of the people who are in parliament who sit on those committees. They've been there for decades. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so NDC and MPP, in my view, have not been responsible in the way they've managed the quality in parliament. Because there should be an objective way of, look, you have Doha Jaho there. You think if you do a rubric and say 137 MPs, there's a judgment day where Doha Jaho, Speaker Bagman, Akwamina Ahoy, sit on a panel and they review your performance based on an objective study that maybe CDD does. And they say, you, 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 based on the committee's work, we recommend that we will not allow anybody to contest you because we think you must go for another term. You think, why? What is wrong with that? Aren't you trying to build a, build a country? But we are there. Oh, no, no, no. We have to allow. Aspirant. Young people want to go. Then somebody finished Legon. He hasn't learned anything. All he does is he's done a uh, um, PA for some former minister. And then he has come into money. No, he goes to contest. Then he wins. Then they say, we are doing democracy. Then he has to learn the ropes again. Then when the budget comes, he doesn't understand anything. He doesn't know all. He doesn't understand any. He hasn't gone to any. He hasn't even done any. He hasn't sat on any board to question anybody. If you bring a minister or if somebody from a big company comes on a committee and they bribe him, why won't he take it? Then we say we are building a democracy because democracy means KB, I mean KB, and everybody must allow to vote. Meanwhile, I've not regulated how much money comes to politics. They have it. So this is what you have. So when the, the, the budget is read, we the media go there, we carry the whole thing, then we take a mic somebody, a few of them who can speak English come and speak plenty English. Then we, what are we doing? Nathan, even if a small company like this, we groom talent, you think parliament shouldn't groom talent? <laughs> For a country that wants to develop, after is coming. Where are the MPs who have been schooled on mm -hmm. after? Mm -hmm. Where are the MPs who have been schooled on human rights and education? It's not just an education committee. What training have we given them? So MPs, MP, NDC have done their own. Giddy, 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 giddy. They've, some people are, so as I sit with the people in parliament, who knows they are not even coming back. All the experience is going because we say, yeah, it's Mugabe, Elembele Mugabe, you should go. You know, let him go. Then go and take another person to come. And the person who's coming, it's not like he's been properly trained though. He just has money. If we had a system where we say, okay, we will compete with you because your job is to deliver development. But we have some freshly prepared guys who have... No, it's money. Where will you get this money from? Where am I going to get money to be an MP? Where am I properly going? If you are like me sitting here with all my net... Where am I going to get money to be an MP? Pro yes, maybe I may have networks and call people. And then the, the MP position too. Now we've made it a position for solving people's problems. So now the MP every day, people are calling him school fees, uh, uh, medical Hospital bills, bills. abortion money. <laughs> <laughs> they call him for all those things. So he's in parliament. And the way, when they call him and he picks, and he hasn't picked, they say he's proud. So he's not focused on the parliament work. He's looking for money. Now, if I want to pass a, an obnoxious law and I give him 20,000, why won't he take it? Because that money, he's now using the money to sort out some village if you know thing. Then the whole parliament thing is the whole... Then Speaker Bagman is, 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 is going crazy because he's like, how come the work is taking so long? Committee, why can't you bring the work? Three people in the committee are doing all the work. Go and check. People and the back room is not supported. So MPs are tired. So the MPs are working over time. Parliament as an institution to be built. So the budget becomes more meaningful. But we've created this thing where we come and read a long speech. People debate over it. And we say we are practicing democracy because it could be So look at MPP. Next week, you see what they'll do. Everybody will be contested. And all the people... <laughs> That's a... you see, people, me, some people go and say, oh, he's saying that we should protect. Every democracy must find the balance between competition and competence. Competition and competence. Life is about balance. So we cannot say that every four years, look at the cost. Hey, CDD did their research. Do you know the, the, billion, the cost of elections? Hey, hundreds of, of thousands, thousands of, of dollars. To be an MP, yeah. You know, why, why won't you even have, if, if the parties and the East Game have agreement that, okay, we'll have an objective way of even ranking MPs, then at least we, we, have, we, have, we, have a, we have a chance to build some quality in there. But no. So, and because this, I remember it was Harun Idrisu and Chairman who led this agenda. So, Chairman oh, Sadas wants to be competed. So, he's, he's coming out to say that they should protect them. How many people can beat Haruna in an election in Tamale South? It's, I, I don't think Haruna and Chairman Sadas did that thing because they wanted to. Oh, to be honest with you, I don't think it was self preservation. Mm -hmm. I think it was a very serious point they were making. But 
we have we have made it seem as if oh they don't want to be competed. So Haruna and Chairman have come together to say that we should not compete, we should keep some peace. Every institution protects legacy and also builds competence. If parliament had a system where within a year or a few months, mm -hmm. a, a Greenhorn MP can rise to the level. Mm -hmm. But we don't. So we need experience. But the parties have not helped us. For them, they look at popularity. Richie Sky can win. Whether he does Galamse, whether it's a drug pusher, we don't care. Once he can win the seat, we we'll put him on. When he goes to parliament, that one day he can shout, yeah, yeah, and vote. Let's rethink our democracy. I know you want to discuss budget, but I just wanted to put this in no that the, the institution of parliament itself requires a lot of reform if the budget or whatever we do there is to be meaningful. Manuesi.